Welcome back. Thanks for watching Morning Connecticut. Well, cute and cuddly and oh so sweet puppies are just so fun. And while they could make a perfect gift for somebody, many unfortunately end up in animal shelters. So that's why we want to talk about the importance of having a big conversation if you're going to give a dog as a gift. And that's why we have Richard and Vicki Horowitz here from Barkbusters with a four month old puppy. Oh, she is beautiful. She's a real sweetheart. A great Dane. Oh, so she wants sweet. to be part of this as well. I know she is. I know she's ready to go. She doesn't like when the cameras move. So yeah. I'll try and keep them still for her because I, I totally I get it. Um, so yeah, so Laney Ann here, so sweet, beautiful puppy, but something a big life-changing decision. When you it really it. is. This yeah. is a very busy time of the year. If you're going to give a puppy or a dog as a gift. <gasps> Think twice. Make sure the people, you don't give it as a surprise, that the owners of the new dog or puppy are, are willing to accept right. the challenges. Yeah, I mean, people think that, they, you know, they're so cute, they're so little, but the holiday season with all the chaos with the poinsettias and the trees and the presents. And people coming and, and, coming going, and going and the meals, yeah. okay? It's just not, it's just it's not a stressful the best time. time. You really so want to make a plan. If you're thinking about it for your child, what are the questions you need to ask yourself before? Yeah. yeah. So the things you have to think about are, you know, what is my lifestyle like? Um, what kind of dog do I want? A big dog, a small dog? Do I want a an active one? Um, do I have other pets in the house? Do I have cats? Do I have birds? All these things will make a difference on what kind of dog you should be thinking about getting. Um, as well as, as, as well as just making sure you have the time. You have to be able, you know, it's a lifetime commitment to have a dog. It's and not like don't taking a toy it. and putting it on the shelf. Right. It's, I mean, it's you can tell she's kind of, you know, she she's, wants to move. She wants, she to, wants to, to get move. Her to go. And she's a puppy, and that's right. what happens with right. puppies. You also, like Vicky said, have to have the time. You can't get a dog and then go back to work or you go out. You got to have to spend the time with them, especially initially. Yes. Yeah. We'll yes. be back. Do you, okay, you go for a walk. <laughs> she needs to move. This, I mean, this is exactly what we're talking right. about, though. Right. Um, you know, she's uh, over there with her parents right, right now because See, they're good she's just she things. sees them she sees the camera she sees the lights and right. these are things that puppies go through so right. uh, so once again we talked about the conversation that you want to have with right. the child and then also what are the other concerns around Christmas time the points that are things like that right. as well you have to think about all the dangers they can get into puppies are like babies they have no idea what's safe and what's not safe and so we as dog owners have to make sure we're responsible and we make sure that Go things for are a walk Richard <laughs> and we make sure that we have the house safe for them but mm. people don't think about the fact of the responsibilities of having a dog, the financial responsibilities, what kind of things do I have to have ready in my house, the water, the, the, the food bowls, the, the kind of food I should feed, having a veterinarian, um, leashes, collars, all those things, you know, that's why when people give them as a gift and they bring the puppy in, there's nothing in the household for them to really be able to manage that puppy. So it's really, it becomes a, a big responsibility and as cute as they are, people really need to think twice and make sure it's going to work in their family dynamics and their household and their lifestyle. That's right. And you know? also does it, also the breed matter too? Like obviously sure. a Great Dane, they need to go on longer walks, get right. more energy right. out. Right. Is it right. different? Yes, yeah. absolutely. So Even, you have yeah. to know the breed that you want, make sure it fits into your home and your lifestyle. Mm, right. Right. Even what size house you have and how right. much room you have. Yeah. Um, Dogs are a lifetime commitment. Yeah, they, they really are. is. And, that's, and they and can bring so much joy. Oh, they bring they lots can. of joy. But you have to be willing to put the work in, and, and yeah. people don't realize that they can. A lot of dogs get separation anxiety early on because they go back to work two or three days later and they're biting out of their crates or they're mm. becoming destructive because it's a new home for them. They need right. time to adjust to the new environment. And we as people have to be responsible and make sure that we provide all we can to right. make sure that that's Because we don't want dogs in the shelter. No. Bottom line, no. we nope. don't want that. So, no. No. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Lainey Ann. You were so good. I know you were your best. <laughs> hey, a 